Shalom, giving all praises to Yahweh by Shem Shai. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Yahweh by Shem Shai, Brakatham. To the hopeful elect, man. And just just real quick, um, I had to, I, I couldn't wait to do a video on this. You know, what inspired me to, to do this was the fact that, you know, I, I often make the statement, I, I, often, I often make the statement about how Yahweh Shai, man, he's our greatest example. All right. Um, you know, above all the, the, the other things that we could learn from and what we could take from the Bible, um, Yahweh Shai, um, he, he's the greatest of them all. And the brothers last night at the, at the camp, man, they were touching on this man. Um, because, you know, when you read in the book of Isaiah, the 53rd chapter, man, it goes into the grief that Yahweh Shai would, would, would suffer, man, how he would bear the, the, the sins the iniquities of the nation of Israel, all that would be basically put on his shoulders, man. You know, and he did all that for the brothers, man. You know, for for Israel. You know, you know he did uh, he did all that for us. You know, so the fact that the Lord did all that, man. Um, again, no one, no one could, no one suffered more than Yahweh Shai. You know, to say, to say it like that. You know, no one went through more hell and tribulation than our Lord. You know, he did it. So pretty much, if he did it, um. And not only did he do it, you know, and in, in, in a because in you know even during the time of the Roman man, you know, it was a, a lot of wickedness going on and whatnot. Um, but even with that being said, Yahweh Shai he did it perfectly. You know, he, he did it perfect. You know, he didn't commit any sins while he walked as Yahweh Shai. So, pretty much, if he can do it, then we can do it. There's no excuses. All right, because hey, he went through it. So, you know, um, hey man, Yahweh Shai, he, hey, he's one that can say that hey i you know i i pretty much i know i i know what you're feeling i, I know what you're going through you know i i've been there you know how shy he could say that you know um so i'm gonna um go through this in uh hebrews chapter two um i'm gonna just i'm not gonna read the whole chapter but get a couple of points um, I'm going to start at verse 7. Hebrews Hebrews 2 and 7, it says, Thou madest him a little lower than the angels. Thou crownest him with glory and honor, and didst set him over the works of thy hands. Thou hast put all things in subjection under his feet, for in that he put all his subjection under him. He put all in subjection under him. He left nothing that was, that is, not put under him. But now we see not yet all things put under him but we see Yahweh Shai who was made a little lower than angels all right because Yahweh Shai contrary to what is taught in the society man he didn't come um he he he, he came as a man all right you know um because you know you got people man thinking that Yahweh Shai came in this and you know came as an angelic force and an angelic beating no, and he came as a man one of his titles is he's referred to as the son of man all right he was born, uh, uh, Joseph and Mary, they came together, they had sex, all right, you know, and Yahweh Shah was brought forth, man, all right, um, because, you know, one thing, the angels, man, they don't have sex, you, you got all type of bugged out doctrines that the, the, the angel, uh, I think, uh, I think it was Gabriel, one of the archangels, Gabriel, um, came and, and had sex with Mary or, or, or the angel, touched mary and she got pregnant it's none of that man all right um all that is 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 inaccurate all right joseph and mary came together and they they they, they had sex they conceived mary got pregnant all right and she gave birth to yahweh shai all right um yahweh shai was conceived by a man and a woman so him coming lower than angels all right he came as a man um it says, but we see Yahweh Shai who was made a little lower than the angels for the suffering of death, crowned with glory and honor, that he, by the grace of God, should taste death for every man. All right, because again, Yahweh Shai dying for, for, for the nation of Israel, and even more so, um, more so for the elect. All right, again, all that suffering that Yahweh Shai went through, he did it for his brothers, man. He did it for the brethren. It says, for it became him for whom are all things and by him are all things in bringing many sons unto glory to make the captain of their salvation perfect through sufferings 
All right. So basically, Yahweh Shai, the, 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 the captain of our salvation. Why? Because, hey, he went through it. All right. He knows what it feels like, man. He he know he understands, man. The Lord knows what we're what we're feeling. He 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 gets it. Like I said, Yahweh Shai, he's one of those. Hey, man, he's one of those brothers, man, that he could say, hey, I know what you I, I know what you're going through, man. I, I understand. You know, he could say that he's a captain of our salvation. All right. Because he went through it just like we're going through it. Yahweh Shai went through it. All right. And like I said, no one suffered more than Yahweh Shai himself. So he knows what it feels like, man. Um. It says, for both we, for both he that sanctify and they who are sanctified are all of one, for which cause he is not ashamed to call them brethren. <laughs> um, I'm going to jump down. Uh, verse 14, it says, for as much then as the children of our partakers of flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the same, that through death he might destroy them. He might destroy him that had the power of death. That is the devil. So pretty much. Um, I'm going to read that first part again. It says, for, for as much then as the children are partakers of flesh and blood. He also himself likewise took part of the same. So just like all of us were born of a man and a woman. Like I said earlier. All right. Yahweh Shai. Hey, he, he came in the flesh and blood. He, he was also born of a man and a woman. All right. You know. And. You know, made a point last night, man, um, about how, um, hey, Yahweh Shai, hey, again, he was born of a man and a woman. All right. He was born in captivity, just like us. Not only that, man, he, he was born in the hood, just like a lot of us, man. We were born in the hood and grew up in the projects, stuff like that, man. Yahweh Shai, hey, he grew up in the hood, man. He grew up in the, in, in the ghetto. All right. Because again, hey, Yahweh Shai, man, he's the ultimate Jake. He's the ultimate brother, man. You know, that's why when, um, 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 how does it go? Let me look look for that real quick. Let me look for that real quick. Because I was planning on doing a lesson on this. Um, because when you go into this uh, 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 of Nazareth, all right, it was pretty much the ghetto, or right, which was this is where Yahweh Shah was from. Let's see if I could look look this up. So St. John chapter 1. I'll start at verse 43. It says, The day following Yahweh Shai will go forth into Galilee and findeth Philip and saith unto him, Follow me. Now Philip was of Bethsaida, the city of Andrew and Peter. Philip findeth Nathanael and saith unto him, We have, we have found him. Of whom Moses and the law and the prophets did write, Yahweh of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. All right, because you know, pretty much Yahweh was gathering the, the, the disciples or whatnot, and you know, um, because it was always prophesied that it was pretty much always prophesied for this to take place, to, 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 to come, you know. And hey, when they found out that this was who the prophets spoke about, they were excited, you know. Um <sighs> Read verse 45 again. It says, Philip findeth Nathanael and saith unto him, We have found him of whom Moses and the law and the prophets did write. So this is the the, the, the Yahushua, the Savior, all right, that was always prophesied to come. He, he's finally here, right? It says, Yahushua of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. And, Yahushua, and Nathanael said unto him, Can there any good thing come out of Nazareth? Philip saith unto him, Come and see, all right? Uh, and Nathaniel made that statement. Can anything good thing come out of Nazareth? Why? Because Na Nazareth at that time, man, it was a, it was a uh, it was a slums, man. It was a ghetto. All right, you know, to, to put it in the modern terms, man, it was the projects. It was the hood. All right, you know, looked down upon, man. Jakes from that particular area were looked down upon, but nevertheless, this is where Yahweh Shai was from. Because hey, just like us, all right, a lot of us grew up in the projects, the ghettos, 
so on and so forth. It was no different from Yahweh Shai, you know. And like I said, he was born in the captivity like like us. All right. He's from the hood like us. Right. Because, again, Yahweh Shai, man, he's the ultimate Jake, man. He's the ultimate brother. So he knows he knows what it's like, man. People think that the Lord was just on cloud nine, man. No, man. The Lord, he was here in the flesh, man. He he suffered, man. He endured. The scripts going to how Yahweh Shai, man, he he was constantly groaning in the spirit, man. He was taught. He was constantly, uh, you know, you know, dealing with Jake, man, because, hey, you know. The, hey man, the, the the Lord suffer, man. So the Lord know He He knows what it feels like, right? So going back to Hebrews chapter two, again Yahweh Shah, man, He was made uh, partakers of the flesh and blood. He came as a man, all right. Um. So just to get on a few more points, matter of fact, verse sixteen it says, Hebrews two and sixteen. For verily He took not on Him the nature of angels, but He took on Him the seed of Abraham. So you see. Because Yahusha, obviously, he's an Israelite. You know, he, he comes through the loins, all right, uh, of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. When you go through, when you read in the book of Matthew, the first chapter, it goes through the, it, it goes through the, the, the genealogy, all right, you know, of Yahusha. Because, again, he was born of a man and a woman, all right. You know, he came as a man. He came in the flesh, all right. He, 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 he endured hardship as we do. All right. So he didn't come as an angel. He didn't come as some angelic being or, or, or nothing like that. I mean, he came as a man in the flesh. All right. Um, verse 17, it says, wherefore, in all things, it behooved him to be made like unto his brethren. So, again. All right. Because, again, obviously, we're we're all born of a man and a woman. All right. We're all in the flesh. Yahweh Shai, he was made like unto his brethren. He came in the flesh. It says that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest and things pertaining to God to make reconciliation for the sins of the people. So you see, again, just going back to the point that Yahweh Shai, man, hey, he suffered hell on that cross. And he did that all for the nation of Israel, but more so for the elect. All right. The ultimate act of love, man. The Lord died for his brothers, man. That's the ultimate act of love, man. For, for a brother to die for another brother, man. That's hey, man, That's very honorable in the eyes of Yahweh Shai. That's true brotherly love. And you see, that's why I make the point that hey, Yahweh Shai, he's the perfect example. He's the ultimate example. No one suffered more than him. All right. You know, he he came in the flesh and he showed us how, how to how to do it. And though we're not going to be perfect in the in the in the flesh, you know, but more so in the spirit, man. You know, our spirit is being perfect. All right, but nevertheless, no one can say that they can't do it because Yahweh Shai did it and under the same circumstances that we're going through. You see? And through his pain and suffering, have we been given the ability to be reconciled with our power? So it says, verse 18, for in that he himself has suffered being tempted, he is also able to secure them that are tempted. So you see, because again, hey, how shall he could say, because pretty much when you go into that word succor, it pretty much goes into help. All right. Because, hey, in our temptation, when, when, when we feel down and out. Hey, Yahweh Shai, man, the scripture is going to the spirit of the comforter, all right, which is the spirit of Yahweh Bashim El Shai, man, the spirit of Yahweh Shai, man, you know, when you're, when you're feeling down, down and out, man, and, you know, you just, you just feel like you, you can't do it no more, man, hey, Yahweh Shai, his spirit is right there to lift you up, man, and our, in our time of temptation and tribulation, Yahweh Shai is right there, because again, he can say he knows what it, what it feels like, he, he understands, man, he knows what we're going through, because I, I, again, I keep making the point, who has, who went more Who's been through more suffering than our Lord, man? No one. All right. So he's able to succor us. He's help. He's able to help us and comfort us, uplift us. We're more feeling down and out, man. You know, um, I'm going to go to the book of Peter. First Peter. First Peter, chapter four. And starting at verse one. It says, for as much then as Hamashiach has suffered for us in the flesh. Again, because how I came in the flesh. All right. It says, arm yourselves likewise with the same mind, for he that have suffered in the flesh have ceased from sin. So we have to have that same mindset that Yahweh Shai did, man. All right, because hey, Yahweh Shai, when he was when he was walking on the earth as Yahweh Shai, man, he was on a mission. All right, he didn't, he, you know, didn't pretty much care about anything else, man. You know, there, there, there's work that needs to be done. Yahweh Shai was on a mission. All right, everything else is is secondary, man. You know, it's it's it's, it's you know, on the, on the back burner. 
this this mission is, is top priority. And Yahweh Shai, when he was on the earth, man, he all he was fo focused about was doing the will of the Heavenly Father. All right, and, and, and nothing, no distractions or, or anything like that, man. Yahweh Shai, he didn't deal with no women when he came as Yahweh Shai. He didn't deal with women. All right, he was focused on the mission, man. And you know we got to have that same mindset. Because again, hey, um, there's no excuses, man. Yahweh Shai did it, we can do it. You know, and even on that that cross, man, when Yahweh Shai, when he thought that the Heavenly Father gave up on him, he didn't turn his back, man. He didn't, he didn't bitch out, man. And that's how it's gonna be for us when we're on our darkest moment. All right, when that hour uh, of temptation comes upon us, and it just seems like the Lord just just is not dealing with us, you know, hey, have the same mindset Yahweh Shai did. He he held on until, you know, even on, uh, unto death, man. The Lord he didn't give up. You know, um, so yeah, that was it on that. I'm gonna go to matter of fact, let me jump down. Uh, verse 12 it says, Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial which is to try you, yeah, because what you go through, what we go through, man, it's no different than the next man, all right. Now, everyone's trials and tribulations are different, but hey, um, it's nothing strange, it's nothing new. Uh, don't think it's strange, it's nothing new. All right. You know, this is why the Lord set up leaders, elders. All right. You know, to, to again, show us how it's done, man. And, and you know, uh, 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 spread their knowledge, so to say, you know, on how to deal with certain situations and, and, and things of that nature. All right. You know. Um, it says. As those some strange thing happened unto you, because, again, you know, none of us go through. Anything that someone else hasn't been through it already. And again, Yahweh Shai being that greatest example, all right? You know, because like I said, man, you might go through something. We, we might go through something and we just might think it's the worst thing, you know. But again, you have elders, man. Hey, they've been through it. So, you know, they can they can spit game, man. They can, they can spit knowledge, you know, give give words of advice and things of that nature to, to, to show you how to, you know, uh, maneuver and whatnot. All right? The Lord set up elders and whatnot. But again, the Yahweh Shai being the greatest example, that's how he's able to comfort us, man. He's able to succor, uh, succor us. He's able to help us and, and show us how it's done. You know, just, just study the life of Yahweh Shai, man. All right. There's a lot we can learn. A lot we can learn from Yahweh Shai because he's the ultimate Jake. He's the ultimate. He's the ultimate uh, 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 example. He's the captain of our salvation. All right. It says, but rejoice in as much as ye are partakers of uh, Hamashiach's sufferings. So, you know, when we go through different tribulations and whatnot, man, because how are you made perfect? You're made perfect by uh, by sufferings. All right. So when we go through different trials and tribulations, man, hey, um, and it's easier said than done because when you're catching hell, it doesn't feel good. But just know that, hey, you know, the Lord is dealing with you, man. You know, understand that. You know, um, again, verse 13, but rejoice in as much as ye are partakers of Hamashiach's sufferings. That when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. Because you see, hey, Yahweh Shai, man, again, he's the ultimate, uh, he's the he's the most unselfish brother, man. All right. Because um Yahweh Shai, he did it, you know. Um, but he he hasn't he's sitting on the right hand of the most high right now, but he didn't he doesn't really uh uh, uh his glory isn't fully fulfilled yet, you see, because Esau is still in power, man. All right, but you see, when Yahweh Shai comes, and and he receives his full glory in his kingdom, all right, hey, his elect, the 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 brothers, men, the bro, the, the 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 brethren, all right, they're gonna be um glorified right with them. You see, because again, the Lord is the most unselfish brother, man. Above all, the ultimate form of brotherly love. The Lord died for his brothers, man, and he's gonna share all the the, the wealth. The, 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 the benefits of the kingdom, he's going to share that with the brothers, man. Because Yahweh Shai, he's the ultimate brother, man. You know, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's beautiful, man. So this is why, hey, we got to suffer, man. Yahweh Shai suffered, all right? And, and he's going he's he's to be glorified, you know? We're no different, man. The servant is not greater than the master. We got to suffer. And the Lord's will, we're part of that number. We're going we're gonna to be glorified, man. That joint airship, man. Yahweh Shai is going to share it all with his brothers, man. You know? Um... I'm going to go to Galatians, man. Galatians chapter 1. Verse 4. 
Matter of fact, verse 3, it says, Grace be unto you and peace from God the Father and from our Lord, Yahweh Hamashiach, because all things are done in the name of, uh, all things are done by the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, in the name of His only begotten Son. That's why we say, yeah, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Kakwadash. All right, all through the Spirit, man. Um, it says, verse 4, who gave himself for our sins, that he might deliver us from the present evil, world according to the will of God and our Father. So, again, because of Yahweh Shai, man, and the, 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 the most unselfish act that he committed, all right, going through all that hell and tribulation, all right, we're going to be reconciled from, uh, to the, the, back to the Heavenly Father, man, and, and, you know, Lord's will preserved, all right, you know, from, from everything that's going on, because, hey, you know, again, the, hey, the spirit of Yahweh Shai, man, he's going to be with his men when all hell breaks loose out here, all right, and that's why, hey, man, you know, the names are important, man, you know, um, the names are important, man. It's, 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 it's a tower unto those that, that, you know, call unto it, those that run unto it, the righteous run into it and, and are safe, roughly paraphrasing it, you know. So we need Yahweh Bashim al Shai, man. You know, in your darkest moment, you just call on Yahweh Bashim al Shai. And, and hey, man, the spirit, is, it'll be right there with you to secure you, to help you, you know, is because it's going to be hard. But again, just remember the Lord, he can say he knows what it feels like. All right. And he, he can tell you. You can do it because, hey, the scriptures say the Lord's not going to put anything on us that we can't bear. So trusting and believing that. All right. Because, again, hey, we're going to be put through things. We already do get put through things. It just seems like, man, I, I, I can't do it. But, hey, how shy is saying, hey, you know, like they say in the world, man, never say never. If, if, I, if I put you through this, then it's for a reason. You know, I, I didn't put you through this for you to not make it, you know. And you see, that's 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 the spirit of Yahweh uh, Shaman. That's that's the comforter, the comforter, comforting us, man. You know, when you you know you say these things in your mind, you you just talk to yourself like that, man. That's the that's the spirit of Yahweh Shaman, man. He's you know, uh, 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 pretty much dealing with you, man. You know, you, you might be be put in a concentration camp. They might be starving you out. You might might not have eaten in a week, man. And you you know you're at the point of death, and you're just like, man, I I can't do it, man. I, I, I'm gonna take the I'm I'm gonna take the Caragua, man. I I can't do this, man. And then the spirit is right there telling you that, hey, you know, all that, all all, all that we all that we've been through, you know, because again, hey, Yahweh Shai, he's suffering with us, man. You 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 think that Yahweh Shai is not waiting to come back to get his elect, man? You think Yahweh Shai can't wait to come back and, and you know cause havoc and, and deliver his elect, man? The Lord can't wait to 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 come back and get his men. He can't wait, man. You know that Yahweh Shai is not up there in the heavens, man. Just just well, I did, I did my part, and, you know, he has his feet kicked up and whatnot, nah, man. Yahweh Shai is suffering right here with us, man. The Lord can't wait to come back and get us, man, the hopeful elect, if we're, if we're a part of that number, man. He can't wait, you know. So, when, you know, when his men are put through the, in those situations and, hey, you know, the Lord's men, then, you know, that, that moment of doubt, that, that darkest moment to where it's just like, man, I don't know if I can do this, man. Yahweh Shai, his spirit is right there, man. You can do it, I you know, stop, stop talking to yourself like that. You know, all that we've been through, all that I put you through, you know, all the basic training, you know. And what did I say? Wisdom and knowledge should be the, the stability of that time. You see stuff like that. When you talk to, you know, you just talk to yourself like that, man. You know, the, the spirit of, uh, of the comforter. It, it, that's Yahweh Shai, man. He, he's uh, succoring. He's, he's helping us out. He's uplifting us, man. Because, again, he went through it so he knows how it feels. All right. You know, so, hey, man, it's, it's, it's beautiful. You know, um, I'm going to get this last one. And what is that? Second uh, Corinthians chapter eight. In verse uh, nine. It says, for we for, ye know, that the grace of our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, that though he was rich, yet for your sakes, he became poor. That ye through his poverty might be rich so you see man hey man the lord i'm gonna read that again for ye know that the grace of our lord yahweh shai that though he was rich because we're talking about the son of the most high power man we're talking about the the the, the only begotten son of the heavenly father yahweh the second in command of the whole universe all right and, and he brought himself he humbled himself so low he brought himself so low all right so that we could you know pretty much uh 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 be 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 
lifted up, so to say, man. All right. He brought himself down so much so that his brothers can can can, you know, uh, 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 can get can get a piece of the pie, so to say, man. Again, the ultimate form of, of brotherly love, man. Yahweh Shai, he was that he's that guy, man. You know, no one tops Yahweh Shai, man. And it's funny because, you know, in the, in the street teaching that I was go, uh, um, going into uh, yesterday, you know, I was going into, I, I went over a little bit of Matthew 24 chapter, you know, because in there it talks about how you would have, the, you know, different uh, um, people coming up, basically trying to be the anointed one, trying to be the savior and whatnot, you see. And that's just a, a complete disrespect to Yahweh Shah, man, who, you know. Who who can show more brotherly love than Yahweh Shah, man? Uh, all he did for his brothers, man. Who could show more love than that, man? Who could, you know, you know, there, there's no, there's no one other than the heavenly Father Yahweh Himself. There's no one ab uh, above Yahweh Shah, man. No no one can do what he did, man. All right, you know. Now you know you you know, because you got like a, a like the Apostle Paul, man. He said that he wished that he could have suffered for the behalf of the nation of Israel and whatnot, you know. But nevertheless, Yahweh Shah, he actually did it, man. All right. He went through all that for his brothers. You know, the ultimate form of brotherly love, man. The ultimate Jake. You know, the Lord, he grew up in the slums, man. He grew up in the, 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 the hood, man. You know, all these things, man. The Lord knows what it's like and he knows how we feel. So we're not in this alone, man. Like I read earlier, don't think it's strange when, you know, when certain things happen to you. You know, you're not alone. You're, 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 we're not alone, you know. Yahweh Shai knows, man, and not only does he know, he's right there comforting us, man, he, you know, uh, uh, helping us, ministering unto us, man. Hey, Yahweh Shai, he said that, hey, the brother said this last night, man, he said that how, because, hey, the scripture is going to how, during the last Passover, um, Yahweh Shai said that, hey, man, I ain't, I'm not going to be, this is the last time I'm going to drink wine with you into the kingdom, you know, you know, so, hey, because I know me personally, man, that's, hey, I, I like me some wine, man, you know, and, and you know, I, that's one of the many things that I meditate on, man. I, I look forward to, Lord's will I be of that number, you know, having a drink with my Lord and Savior, man, my big, my big brother, man, in the kingdom. And I'm talking about, we're talking about real wine, not this, this cheap stuff, you know, um, this, this GMO stuff that they sell out here. You know, we're going to have real wine, you know, we're just going to be kicking it with our brother, man. He's going to, he's going to share all that, all his wealth, his glory. All right, it's going to be a joint airship with the brothers, man, you know, because, hey, oh, 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 we, we, um, we did it, man, you know, just like your house I suffered and he did it, hey, we're going to be in the kingdom just, just kicking it with our big brother, man, hey, we, we did it, you know, we, 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 we did it, Akim, you know, but yeah, man, um, like I said, man, I'm just inspired, man, you know, it's, it's just beautiful, you know, the Wadi. To the heavenly father Yahweh for sending us his only begotten son Yahweh Shai, man. The, the the you know just just the ultimate brother, man, the most unselfish Jake, man. It's just it's just beautiful, man. I, you know, I couldn't help but to you know do a video on this, man. So hopefully this was edifying, giving all praises to Yahweh Bashim Shai, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Yahweh Bashim Shai, Brakatham to the hopefully elect. Lord's willing to next time, Shalom.